Hey guys, this is part two. I'm actually shooting this on Thursday, but it'll probably go live on Friday. Oh, I better not drink all of this because I have to take my vitamins. <laughs> That's not very nice. That's not a good... Um, I say that about my vitamins because... Which I'll share with you what I'm taking. It's just... I have to be honest with you guys. It's never... I do it because taking your vitamins and your supplements is what matters, but I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy the fact that vitamins smell, and I always have to do a certain like Jedi mind trick with myself. So the first thing I take, and I always take this at breakfast, because it's been outlined for me too in my Dr. Mike print plan. So breakfast, I'm supposed to have my VitaPack, um, triple strength fish oil, and my Physio Burn and my probiotic. So I take, um, this is the, I'm using the GNC probiotic. So I add one pill, put that to the side. I have the first, the, the VitaPack, which is these for the moment. These are the ones that smell. I told my friends at GNC, I'm like, dude, can you guys make this not smell? And then this is the, is that right? This is the Physio Burn. I take two packs of these a day. Um, I have to ask Dr. Mike because I have a feeling that I'm supposed to take an additional fish oil pill in addition to this, um, which I have in that cabinet. So I might be taking that after this. But um, and then pre-workout, I take my Pro Sculpt, my Genetics HD Pro Sculpt. During my workout, I do my Grass Chain Amino Acids, and then before night, I just ordered this. I'm doing. He wanted me to take a ZMA supplement which is zinc magnesium aspartate. So I'm taking that before bed. I don't know what it's for, but I'll have him explain that. Because if I explain it, I'll be like, I don't really know. Um, so here's kind of what I do. Usually when I take my vitamins, I take them right after I eat my breakfast so that I have food in my stomach. Um, and then honestly, like I, I play tricks with myself, especially the orange stuff, because that's what smells, so I'm gonna not talk about it. Ugh. I take the smelly ones first to get it over with because they're the ones that when I take them Ugh. I think tequila would be easier to do right now I guess I'm doing this because number one I have to and I need to shoot this video But to show you that even though this is a lot of pills, it's it can be done very quickly. And you just make it a habit. A habit that I wish tasted a lot more like Starbucks. But you just get over it. Last smelly one. Sometimes there's just a, um, some people, some of my people take these pills, obviously you can't do that with the fish oil ones, and they open them up, they'll open up the capsules and put it in a, a shake. I have to ask her, what just happened there? I have to ask Dr. Mike if that changes anything, like if that makes you, they not effective. One of the things I learned from Dr. Mike, which really pissed me off. I was telling him how when I used to get protein bars that they always taste better if you put them in the microwave and he got very disturbed and he's like, oh, that just changes all the metabol metabolic properties of the, I don't know if he said metabolic, but he said something that was catabolic maybe. He's like, you're changing the entire properties and destroying the protein synthesis in your body. I'm like, what did you just say there? What does that mean? I go, so basically what you're telling me is if I take a protein bar and heat it up when it tastes all gooey and good, I'm destroying the protein that I'm supposed to be eating? And he's like, yes. Sorry to tell you guys that, because I know I've shared that with you in the past. Heat up your protein bars and it makes them gooey and tasty, then they just pretty much become a brownie. So, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about my, um, both my diet plan and, whew, taking my vitamins also makes me really full. I feel like I have a gallon of, but it's good for you guys. I, I will tell you, I swear by it. When I regularly take vitamins, especially and, and probiotics, 
I just don't go to the doctor. I never go to the doctor. The only doctor I go to is for the whole hormonal thing and, and keeping my skin balanced. I've got four more pills to take. Um, I don't I don't remember the last time I've been to a doctor. I, somebody goes, somebody asked me what who my doctor is. I'm like, I don't even have a doctor. I just have a drug dealer. I'm just kidding. Okay. I might need to wait a minute before I take those. Um, anyway, so as I mentioned in my video yesterday, I now have the complete diet and exercise program or workout from Todd. Um, here's the funny thing. I'm always very honest with you guys on everything. I'm honest with you that I take vitamins and I, you have to take vitamins. I also tell you how much they suck to take because I hate taking this many pills and I hate how they taste and they smell. But I do it for a reason. I'm taking two more, then we're done. You guys might think, whoo! <sighs> you might be laughing at this. There's just a certain point, like if you take a vitamin the wrong way, like it's where it's it's going down your throat really slow, it's the gag reflex. That's what I'm avoiding here, is that gag reflex. Because if you if you have one go down slow, then you need to just let it continue and not take another one, or you would see me gag here, and I'm not gonna do that. Anyway. Two things. Um, I am very excited, more so than I think I've been in a couple years, about, I've got a call coming up, um, about my diet plan and my um, workout plan. And I, I have to be honest with you. There was part of me that, <sighs> Joe Dowdell lives in New York. And he was saying, you know, when you come to New York, we'll do a whole analysis of you. and. Joe Dowdell is about as badass as, as they come, knowing he has a new book coming out with 50 Cent about like their training program. So if Joe Dowdell trains you, it's like, it's kind of like the god of fitness. Is that right? So it, this is not just somebody who's like, gonna get on the treadmill and do 20 minutes. Like he'll tell you exactly, I, there's just things that he knows and says. It's kind of like when Dr. Mike tells you about the, the catabolic breakdown of protein synthesis in your body and you're like, I mean, they're not bullshitting. They just really know their stuff. Anyway, um, but a lot of the, the, the training that I've done in the past, when I had programs given to me by Jenny Lynn or other figure competitors, um, you know, I was sending it to Joe and, I, and Mike, and I'm like, how about I just use this? And, you know, it was mapping out the, the programs that had been given to me. And I kind of laughed. Well, I'm not going to lie. I got annoyed in the beginning. Because he's like, this is a joke. There's no planning. There's no breakdown. He doesn't, you know, do this and this and this. And he was saying all the stuff that was missing. And I'm like, I don't get it. I thought it was cool. And it's helping me build muscle. But he's like, very adamant that it wasn't a thorough plan. It wasn't customized. And I have to be honest with you. So when I knew I was getting a training plan from Todd Bumgardner, I was like, can you just send me the plan? Like he said that I had to do a video. I had to shoot a video of myself in my garage. Um, doing an overhead squat so he could analyze my my form. I really didn't know what he was going to analyze. And you know me, I don't have time for anything. And I called Mike, I'm not going to lie, Todd. I called Mike, and I'm like, does, does Todd really need me to go shoot a video? I don't have time to shoot a video, and I think this is dumb. Like, why can't he just give me a training program? Because I thought, he's just going to customize a few things and send it to me. And Mike said, no, he can tell so much about you by seeing how you do your overhead squat, where you bend, when you start to have, you know, it, do your knees do this or that. He was telling me all that stuff, and I'm like, here's me on the phone. <sighs> so I went and I did it, and then Todd wrote me back, and he was designing the program, and really, I, I'm not going to lie, Todd, so this is just me being honest with you. I was like, just send a program. It's not that big of a deal because I'm so impatient, and when I'm impatient, I want everything right now. That's just the way I've been. And Todd, it's not just you, it's me with everybody. So there was part of me that was like, how customized can this possibly be? Now I know. <laughs> now I know why Joe and Mike were looking at some of the other plans I was doing where it was basically like, do shoulders and then back, and get back to me and see how that went. You know, no customization. I want you to just see that this is one week Wait, three pages 
of my program for day for six days. Okay, this is scrap paper. Sorry. Um, but let me also share with you. So he, I asked him how much I could share with you guys because at the end of the day, this is how Todd makes his living: is um, training people in person, but also um, online. Let me put it to you this way. Um, if you're going to spend your money, kind of thinking that this is incredibly valuable because it's week by week, it's customized for you, they're tracking, he's tracking how I get better, um, how I improve, um, and, and again, it's customized for my goals. So I can share with you some of the stuff I'm doing, but this is designed for me and my specific issues. You, it might be, like, this probably wouldn't be what he would say for a guy. This probably wouldn't be for somebody who is looking to um, lose more weight than me or less weight than me. Or, I mean, I personally, like, he knows I want to build a lot of muscle. I'm not looking to get toned. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind. But what, su not surprise me, but I was looking at, like, this first page, and all of this is my warm-up. That's my warm-up. We do soft tissue work, breathing and active stretching, and then blood pumping type stuff is what he says. So this is a circuit that's like, so I'm doing soft tissue work, some foam rolling, then I'm doing breathing and active stretching. I don't know what a lot of this stuff is, but he's gonna make videos for me. Um, and then there's like jumping and moving and bear crawls. I didn't really, I've never done that before. Um, pogo jumps, I'm gonna have to ask if that requires me to have a pogo because I don't believe I have a pogo. Um, but all that is just my warm-up for, for um, well, I guess warm-up is every day. So I do the warm-up every day. And then for me, this first week, I'm doing back and biceps on day one. Day two is conditioning and cardio. Day three, I'm doing a leg program. Day four, conditioning and cardio. Day five is pressing day. Um, day six is legs. And then day seven is off. And further... Um, so right now I'm doing a rest day. Next week it might change. But I, of course, I will tell you, like the first thing I did when I looked at this, holy crap, am I at 12 minutes already? Damn! I am at 12 minutes. So I need to shut up. All that said, incredibly thorough. I'm so, so excited. This is like nothing I've ever seen. I've never had a program that is this comprehensive. I've never had a program that is having me do some of the, the, the moves that I've seen before. You know, there's some hammer curls in here, incline dumbbell curls, but there's also, excuse me, there's, oh, that's the vitamins. There's also stuff in here I've never done. A lot of, then there's some intervals, um, and it's also very thorough because it's including my stretching, my foam rolling, all of that. And then my, excuse me, my diet plan. Um, I'm telling you guys, Sundays are now meal prep. I'm no, I'm not doing this crap anymore of living my days reactive and running around going, oh crap, it's seven o'clock, I haven't eaten all day, shit. Sorry for swearing, but that's what I've done. That's what I've done all year. And then I look back and go, oh, you know, last week I worked out twice and all I did was I ran and I did biceps. I mean, there's, that's just ridiculous. I'm taking care of myself. I'm not gonna have those days anymore because frankly, I don't wanna have those conversations with Mike. I'm, I'm more worried, um, I'm more concerned about my eating and, and eating and eating enough and doing the right thing and facing Mike than I am about Todd because the working out, now that I have something to follow, um, that's not what I'm worried about. I'll do the workouts and every trainer I've ever worked with, when I had a trainer, Jay would always say that to me. He's like, I'm not worried about your workouts. And, and back then he was more concerned with, um, you know, my eating and, and we did a different diet plan. That was years ago. But he was like, you know, you've just got to, you know, fine tune. We've, and whenever he tweaked my diet, it, it worked. Um, for me, honestly, like my biggest thing that I'm going to have to focus on is I can't, I can't wing it. I can't trust myself to not make food in advance because realistically, my days get away from me. I don't have time. I don't have time in the middle of the day Tuesday to make something for lunch. I have to find a way to make it so that it's already prepped for me or it's ready for me and that I've planned for it. If I know I'm going to be out, whatever. Um, so that said, it's good to be scared of somebody <laughs> and be accountable. But you know, we all have strengths and weaknesses. Mine right now is, is my business. So that said, I have a call in 15 minutes. Um, I think I've told you guys, I've answered your question about the supplement. Look what else came in the mail today. New Polar. 
So we'll be using this. Um, interested to see, um, we're going to use uh, Polar to track all of my workouts. I haven't been using my last one because my band was broken. And I was too lazy to go to the store and replace it. It wasn't broken. The bat it needed a battery. Also, got this from our friends at Reebok. I'm going to be interested to see if this fit in my ear. You know that the only band, the only earbuds that have fit in my ear are the earbuds. So I'm going to open these up and test them out later, and I will let you guys know. I'm sure if it's Bose, it has to be good. I'm using somebody else's catchphrase, and you're probably really annoyed by that. I also got this shirt. Ooh, this is nice fabric. It's like a soft, um, see, we likey? So it's a V-neck. Can you see that, people? I'll wear it in my next video. Very cool. I like everything Reebok. I can't lie. Uh, I really like the Zig shoes. Oh, and this is Reebok. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> Black and red, see, black and red. This is the CrossFit top we got this summer. You don't have to be doing CrossFit to wear the CrossFit stuff, people. I really like their CrossFit line. This is their CrossFit sports bra. Uh, this is their CrossFit top. Again, I would not wear this sports bra to run in. This is not enough support for the girls, if you know what I mean. Um, but it's fine for weight training, and I really love how it looks. Um, so. That's what we got. I need to shut up. I need to go. I've got stuff to do. You guys have a great day. It should be Friday by the time I upload this video. So have a great weekend and um, let's make it happen. <clears throat> I haven't done that in a while. You guys pointed that out. So I'm sorry. Have a great day.